The contract to manage the National Digital Research Centre has been awarded to a consortium led by Dogpatch Labs. The new network of innovation hubs will deliver programmes and funding to digital entrepreneurs across Ireland. To tell us more, we're joined by Patrick Walsh, CEO of Dogpatch Labs. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning. The National Digital Research Centre is a government initiative established in 2006. Can you explain exactly what does it do? Sure. So the NDRC is a a unique set of programmes designed for Ireland's most ambitious, globally focused entrepreneurs and making sure that they have world-class supports around them. It's funded by government, as you say, and awarded today by Minister Eamon Ryan um, and his team of the Department of Communications. Uh, It serves to complement a lot of great existing supports from Enterprise Ireland and others. And I suppose ultimately the purpose is to create more high-value jobs in Ireland that are rooted in world-class Irish innovation-driven enterprises rooted in our own ingenuity and creativity as a nation. And and that's all part of the government's agenda to create a, a, a more balanced economy in Ireland. You and your regional partners have been awarded the contract to manage the centre. It's a 17 million euro contract for the next five years. What's your plan? Sure. So, look, we spoke to entrepreneurs all across the country and this idea of connectedness was really, really clear. So we, our plan was around three key pillars. The first one is that regional piece. So it's the first time that a national network of innovation hubs will come together to deliver this thing. So hubs like Portishead and Galway, Republic of Work in Cork, or DI and Kerry. And that all forms part of a hub and spoke model acting like nodes in a network across Ireland meaning that entrepreneurs don't need to come to Ireland to connect in. The second key part of the plan was international. So there's a big partnership with uh, Google's global startup hub network. So we have special access to about 70 startup hubs around the world, from San Francisco to Shanghai. There's global investor days, global mentoring programs. We have a partnership with Ignite, the UK's most active regional accelerator. They have a base in in Belfast. So, so that's going to be really important in the context of Brexit. Um, So we want to make that scaling internationally piece easier and faster. And the last key piece of the plan is is connecting in with the investor community more squarely. And the top five venture capital firms supported our bid. They'll be actively involved in mentoring and ensuring that everything we're doing gives entrepreneurs the best possible chance of getting funded. So when you put those three things together, it means that if you're an entrepreneur with a big idea from any part of Ireland, you can plug in locally, you can scale internationally and and I think you can access funding uh, with a greater level of 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 certainty than you than maybe before. Investment is vital but how important is mentorship? Hugely important Um, you know uh, there's so many skills that an entrepreneur is required to have to build a company to scale a company to pitch uh, to to do that so What we focused on is ensuring that there's the best uh, entrepreneurs that we can get access to. Uh, Entrepreneurs that have built billion dollar companies will be actively involved in in this program, uh, both from Ireland and from abroad as well. Um, and 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 that's going to mean that Irish entrepreneurs, you know, don't need to be in San Francisco to access that kind of insight. That's incredible. The digital revolution is well underway here and obviously across the world. Are Irish firms and startups playing a significant role in it? Yeah, look, you know, it, look, it's been a tough year with COVID and a report from Tech Ireland showing that, you know, uh, funding for early stage funding from the private markets is down 50 percent at the height of the pandemic. And, you know, at the same time, there was a report from Atomico just last week, this European wide report saying that we have more software developers now per one million inhabitants in, in, in Ireland than any other country in, in, in Europe uh, apart from Finland. So there's huge potential and we are seeing billion dollar companies emerge from Ireland, Intercom, uh, WorkHuman, um, other companies coming through. So I think we have huge potential in this country. Um, and it, while it has been a tough year, I think it's great news, um, it's very positive news to finish the year and go into next year that these supports remain um, and that they're available to entrepreneurs um, because there's great ingenuity in this country and we need to continue to invest in that. Exciting times ahead. Patrick Walsh, CEO of Dogpatch Labs. Thank you.